When you consciously decide to send a picture of your dick to someone, in your mind, it's a simple snapshot. In reality, you find yourself going hard in the Playgirl spread because there's really only two reactions someone can have upon receiving a picture of a dick on their phone. Instagram. Oh. Or. Text me. No! So, should you choose to get your Mr. Marcus on, I'm just saying, the name of the game, plausible deniability. Which means, if you have any distinguishing scars or tattoos on your arm, I suggest wearing a long sleeve or a thermal. Whatever makes it easier for you to say, I'm pretty sure that's not my penis, in case it goes viral or gets reblogged on Tumblr. Now, when it comes to actual picture taking of your dick, you can't just do the overhead aerial shot. You gotta add variety. Show how the size stacks up against inanimate objects. A remote, a snapple bottle, a Bath and Body Works three-wick candle, lilac blossom if you're classy, island neck if you're nasty. And that doesn't work, decorate your manscaping piece of flair, like candies in a trail towards your Narnia, Hogwarts, whatever you call an island that your penis is stranded on. And if all else still fails, use what you got. Stack it up against your palm to show the height of it, as if you're high-fiving it. Get a pic of your dick off the moonlight to show your artsy side. And for those hard-to-reach angles, get whatever friend you trust the most. And if the recipient says, wait, why are three hands high-fiving your dick? Just say, hey. I don't tell you how to paint with all the colors of the wind, now do I? Now, I don't know who the first person in history was to send a picture of their dick out, Danette Smith, but I thank you, sir. I'm sure you went through many trials and errors. I'm sure you went through many trials and errors, like trying to send it out through fax, Telegram, Morse code, until the technology was finally able to complete your dream of saying, you know what, this is happening. And not that I think about this often, but open archeologist sees this poem on YouTube, goes back to ancient discoveries in Egypt and realizes, oh my God, there are dick pics in these hieroglyphics. Dick -liglyphs, thereby enabling this poem, dick pics, pics of dicks to win a Nobel Peace Prize. Now, the only downside of my contribution to the field of dick pics would be that when I die, the people at my funeral choose to honor me by throwing Polaroid dick pics onto my casket as being lured to my grave. And the preachers there saying, yeah, he would have wanted it this way. <laughs> and my ghost is there saying, no, I didn't want it this way. My wife and children are right there. Who's allowing this to happen? Omari, fuck you. Why are you throwing two in there, son? <laughs> but if it gives you the people a better quality of dick pics, and I'll take that hit for you. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Especially you in the back. You're welcome twice over. And not that anything to do with this, but if you check your text message right now, there should be a drill in Narnia, waiting for all y'all. <laughs>